Hi, this is Gary Rubenstein, and this is the third part in a series of lectures about how to solve uh, cubic and quartic equations uh, using just algebra. Um, in the first tutorial, we did quadratic equations, and in the second tutorial, we did what we call depressed cubic equations. I want to do one more example of a depressed cubic equation and then generalize it into the depressed cubic equation formula. Uh, here's another example. It asks you to solve x cubed equals 39x plus 380. And this one does not have a nice rational solution. The answer is uh, just a slightly bigger than, than 9. And I want to show you how that process works as a refresher. Um, it turns out that you can, by solving uh, the simultaneous equations, 3ab is equal to the coefficient on the x term, 39, and the equation a cubed plus b cubed equals the constant, which is 380. If you can solve for a and b, you can add them together, and that will get you your x value. And the process is to use substitution by um, solving for a in terms of b. We get a equals 39 over 3b, which is 13 over b. We substitute that a into the a here and the a cubed. So 13 over b cubed plus b cubed equals 380. This becomes uh, 2,197 over b cubed plus b cubed equals 380. Multiply through by b cubed, get 2,197 plus b to the 6 equals 380b cubed. Uh, move everything over to one side. Now this is a cute, this is a, it's like a quadratic equation, even though it's got a sixth degree here. The, uh, the, if the six is double the three, this is in a quadratic form. Now if you go back to the very first tutorial, we solve this equation as the as the final example and the answer became b equals the cube root of uh, 190 plus or minus the square root of 33,903. And if you pick one of those values, like the, the plus or the minus, the other value ends up, if, if you pick 190 plus, then the A value is 190 minus. So that the answer to this question, when you add A plus B, is going to be the cube root of 190 plus the square root of 33,903 plus the cube root of 190 minus the square root of 33,903. Now this is not an integer. It's just a little bit bigger than, uh, than 9. So x is approximately 9, although it is uh, a little bit bigger than it. So you've seen a couple of examples of depressed cubic equations, and now I want to generalize it into uh, a formula, just like you can use completing the square to create a general formula for the quadratic equation. You can use this process that I just showed you to create a generalized formula for depressed cubic equations. The formula for uh, depressed cubic equation if it's in the if it's if it's x cubed equals px plus q the formula and this appears um, 
in some textbooks. Just uh, they just kind of mention it. Here's what the formula looks like if you turn it into one. So the x in terms of p and q ends up becoming a radical that looks a lot like all the questions that we've been doing. It's this q over 2 plus the square root of q over 2 squared minus p over 3 cubed plus the same expression with one small change q over 2 minus the square root of q over 2 cubed sorry squared minus p over 3 cubed there's your official formula for solving depressed cubics and to derive the equation what you would have to do is what we've been doing is to solve for a and b in the system of equations 3ab equals p and a cubed plus b cubed equals q that would lead you to this uh, eventually I'm not going to go through all the calculations with that but that's the basic idea behind it well, once you have this formula, you can answer questions pretty quickly. Let's go back to the question that I just did, which was x cubed equals 39x plus 380. Uh, this works best when the coefficient on the x is divisible by 3 and when the constant is divisible by 2. So the main things are that um, q over 2 is 190. Q over 2 squared is 36,100. And P over 3 cubed, which is 13 cubed, is 2,197. So if you substitute these things into the formula, you will get 190 plus the square root. When you subtract these two things, you get the 33,903 that we've been seeing. And the other radical is the same, except for there's a minus instead of a plus. And as I mentioned, this answer happens to be an irrational number, which is slightly bigger than 9. So I'm going to end this part of the, uh, of the lecture now. So far, we've learned in the first part how to do quadratic equations and certain six-degree equations. In the second part, we and the third part, we did uh, depressed cubic equations and ultimately getting this, this formula for depressed cubic equations. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to do general cubic equations. Those would be equations that have all the terms, x cubed, x squared, uh, the x term, and the constant.